Hey everyone, Chaos Giga here, and today I just wanted to, this is 24 hours after this incident happened, obviously, uh, just because I needed some time to cool down because uh, I'm getting so sick and tired. It's the same company every single time, and I don't know if they work with YouTube, if they're a bot program or what, um, but I finally figured out who they are as a company, and I'll show you that in a minute, but uh First off, if you're wanting to watch a video that's entertaining, this is probably not it. If you're wanting to watch an informative video on what to do for one of these companies that is constantly hounding your YouTube channel, like mine, and I'm not even a, a YouTube partner anymore. Uh, I used to have an old channel that had over 2,500 subscribers. Unfortunately, I had hundreds of thousands of videos, and once they did the changes, the first big wave of changes before the COPPA thing went through and the courts went after YouTube and Google and all that. Um, I had a lot of copyright claims on my videos, so instead of going through of there's over half, there's over half my channel, so over 50,000 plus videos had a copyright claim on them. Um, I was given the ultimatum of either they just shut down my channel and I start from scratch, or um, I could go through and just delete all the music on 50,000 plus videos. Uh, unfortunately, that that left my hands tied because even back then, just like then I, and now, I don't make any money off my channel. It's it's all completely free. Even back then, with AdSense, I wasn't making anything. They were making everything off of me, and I was doing free work, basically, for them. Just like I am now, too. Uh, so I just told them to go ahead and delete my channel, or I went ahead and deleted it for them, whatever. And I started a new one. And I reposted some of the old videos without some of the music in the background, um, and that's where I've been having my biggest problem, is music and game sounds. And it, most of the time, it's the music from the games itself. So I just turn the music off on all the games that I play now. It, I shouldn't have to do that, because those companies, the gaming companies, own the game, and they own the rights to the music, I would think. But that's just the way it works, apparently. Um, well, this company, Hawk for a Third Party, they've constantly constantly flagged or claimed, made claims, uh, to music in my videos. Well, just here lately, since I've started playing Minecraft and loving Minecraft, because it, it's it's the first time I've ever played the game. I wish I would have played it back in 2009. I'd still be playing it from then on to now, honestly, because it's so, so much fun. You can do anything you want to. And I'm learning so much of the game still, because I have so much catching up to do myself. But... As soon as I started playing that game, Minecraft, I started making my own songs so I could play them in the background because I didn't want to have to deal with this company flagging or claiming my music or the music from Minecraft in the background. Because obviously you can turn off the music and the sounds and everything in the background on the game, which I've done. Uh, now, with that in mind, I created a new song just uh, less than 48 hours ago. Less than 48 hours ago. And I, of course, use a software called PreSonus Studio One. And it's it's fourth edition, I think. Yeah, it's fourth edition. Um, that's where I create my music. I, I can make the notes and manipulate uh, electric guitar and stuff like that. I, I don't want to get into too much detail. I'm sure mu musicians are going to point out that I've said something wrong. Uh, and I'm still learning how to use it. So... Obviously, there's just a lot of learning involved, and like I said, this is a hobby. This is a hobby, but I get so frustrated that this is happening not just to me, but YouTubers that I love to watch videos of. Um, Minecraft videos that I like to watch, Mumbo Jumbo. I know it happened to him last year, the same thing. Uh, they were flagging or claiming four seconds of his intro music. So I, I'm assuming that's why he basically uses no music now in his videos and um, has no intro. Uh, I, I refuse to do that, refuse to take down my intro or outro just because it's music that I created. Like, I literally created everything that's in my videos now, and they still, this is what happened, they still tried to claim my creation, and I have this copyrighted in my name. All of this music that I make is copyrighted in my name. That's why I bought the Presonus software, so I can make sure that when I create music, I get it copyrighted in my gamertag name. Yet they still tried to claim it. So if I was, if I was AdSensed, let's just say I was AdSensed, um, most of my subscribers, when my video pops up on YouTube, the first 
two hours are critical because that's when most of my viewers are going to go in and watch the video. And that's where I'll make most of my revenues in that first two hours. It took them that long to take away their claim after I showed them in the dispute that I own the music. And obviously they can look it up online and find out that it's copyrighted in my name. Now, of course, I could sue them if I wanted to, but there's really no point at this point. Because that's why I wanted to do this video. Because basically I'm saying hey to them and I'm saying hey to YouTube. You guys need to get your stuff together and figure this out. Because this is a double-edged sword. It's been up here for a while. A lot of your creators are upset with it. I'm not even partnered with you, so I can say whatever I want to about this. You want to take this channel down? That's fine. But I'm going to get my point across here. So this is what usually happens when you get a copyright claim. Even if it's your creation, and they have no rights to do so, obviously, because the music that I put in the video is mine. I created it. It's no one else's. It's copyrighted under my name. So even YouTube tries to use it, I can sue them. That That's the whole point of copyright. So... Basically, this is the generic thing that YouTube sends you in your email, your Gmail account, if you will. Uh, copyright owner using content ID claims some material in your video. This is not a copyright strike. This claim does not affect your account status. No, it's a copyright claim. Obviously, there's a difference between a copyright claim and a copyright strike. Copyright strike is given to you, and you're only allowed three of them, apparently. Um, if, they f if you try to dispute it and then come to find out you're wrong, right? Well, obviously, I'm not wrong because I own the music. It's my creation. It's copyrighted in my name, and I'm going to show you that in just a minute. Uh, there are either ads running on your video with the revenue going to the copyright owner. I have no ads. I'm not even AdSense. I don't have a thousand subscribers anymore. I lost all my subscribers when I had to start over. So, and that's due to YouTube. That's their fault, not mine, because of their new copyright program that they've got going on, which allows bots to do all the work. Uh, and obviously, I'm going to talk about this towards the end of the video. Exactly what I think they should start doing. And I hope they do it. I, ho I hope they reach out and start connecting with people like me so they can get these ideas and start using them. Because, quite frankly, this sword is only on one side. It's helping the people who don't even do any of the work. And that's not how America should run. No, definitely not. Uh, so they uh, go on and say, or the copyright owner is receiving stats about your video's views. Which is impossible, considering that this music is not exactly what they use. So this this is the video that they flagged with the claim. I, it, I just posted at 7 a.m. like I usually do. I always have it set up to post at like 7 a.m. or whatever. Uh, this is the copyrighted content they chose to use. I went and listened to the song and it has nothing, nothing similar to the song that I made. Everything in that song is like heavy metal. It's like an electric guitar, electric bass. There is a drum beat with a top hat, if you know what that is. Um, and a little electronic keyboard stuff. It's all hand-noted. I mean, I, I hand-note it in and make a loop of it and then uh, just place it all together. It's just for background music. It's just what video game companies do all the time, basically. They make up some songs and put them in the background to make the, the game look nice. Uh, and this is the claimant. It's by Hawk for a third party, which is the one I always have. I don't know why this company has, has a hard-on for me and, and the games that I play. This is the company that I blamed for all almost 50% of my demo videos that had to be taken down and re-put up, re -put up without the music in the background. Uh, because they kept claiming the gaming music in the background as theirs. Uh, and the sad thing is... I would go through the dispute process, putting in where the music is actually originated from, where it's copyrighted from, and that I have the rights to use it because it's a part of the game. And they'd leave up their claim for the 30 days and then let it time out. So all that time, if I was AdSense, they would get all the money and everything from that. And that system has got to go because, quite frankly, I've already proven that they have no claim to that music, and yet they're still allowed to win everything from that. And that's not how it should work. I think they should have to do more work and prove this stuff, but we'll get to that in just a minute. So that's the first one. I'm going to show you real quick the song. I'm not going to play it because obviously you guys can just go watch the video and, and listen to it because I took down the claim. Um, so this is the song. It's a time-lapse background song. Is that's I made it specifically for my time-lapses. Every single time it pops up 
on somebody's computer, it's going to list this right here. This song contains copyrighted material. You must not use any material without the author's agreement. And it lists the author's name. That's me, Chaos Giga. Boom. That's why I do this. My other song has the same thing pop up. And it's the song I use in all the background music sound for all my videos now. Except for this one. I'm not even using any music. Which it could still be flagged. And then there's my actual name and the year on there of when it was made. So, I mean, it, it'll list the month on there, too, if you go through the, the higher version of it or whatever. But this is the song. You can see that it's it's got, like, four different instruments in there and all that. And this is all the fancy stuff you get to use. I'm still learning how to use this. So I've only made, like, two songs with it. But um, I just now finally made this song four months later that I'm happy with, and I'm actually proud to use and they want to try to claim it as theirs even though it's copyrighted in my name so for an hour and a half they basically had claim to everything that this song was playing in and they only show they only choose like 15 seconds four to 15 seconds of uh, a song as as theirs and um, I'm getting really tired of that because obviously I think they should have to prove that there's a whole song that's theirs in there because literally I could claim I could go to anybody's YouTube channel and I could claim like three or four seconds of a song that sounds similar to mine as mine uh like the drum beat i could i can choose that if it sounds the same as mine i can claim it as mine and then there's no repercussions for that even if they prove that the song is different than mine which is what's going on right now there's no changes so so basically what i did is i went through the the process right the the 20 minute process of disputing the claim and um, so they sent you an email they send you an email after you do the dispute and this is what it says the following claim on video chaos fail episode 20 Fra uh, farm framework has been disputed yeah, sent love all that uh, view claim details reason for dispute video is uploaders original content it's my content I made it um, so obviously I can click on all these and then I put my signature down there so you're receiving this email as a confirmation. This is what you always get. It's a generic email from YouTube. And I wish they would reach out to creators a lot better than this. Because this is just redonkulous of a system that they have set up. Uh, you're receiving this email as a confirmation that we have received your dispute. Hawk for a third party has up to 30 days to review your information. And you provide it and take action. I don't think they should be given 30 days. I think they should be given less than 24 hours. I think they should only be given two hours. And if they don't respond within two hours, it should be taken off. Because obviously they're they're able to claim stuff that's not even theirs. That's the person who created the videos. That's mine. Uh, and quite frankly, I am furious with that. If somebody's going to try to claim my work and YouTube's going to allow it, I'm going to sue you both. That's that's how it's going to go. I, like I said, this is just a hobby right now. If I want this to be my job, you're going to have to start taking me more seriously. And as a creator... And quite frankly, if I create my own music, my own content for my video, and the only thing that's owned by somebody else is Minecraft is owned by Mahjong, obviously. I don't own the game. Um, Demo is owned by another company. I don't do videos on it anymore, so I don't care if they ask me to take all my videos down. I will do that gladly. And any other game that I want to play, I, I think it's pretty obvious that I don't own the games. And the music in the background is theirs. So, yeah, if... I have to, I turn the sound off most of the time on the background of the, the games. And if I can't do that, then I'll just go stream on Twitch because Twitch I don't have this problem with. Twitch has it set up that if somebody disputes or has a claim against your music, they'll just change the music in the background automatically for you. They don't even ask the person who Twitch streams or whatever. They just change the music automatically to some generic songs that they have. And I think that's what YouTube needs to start doing. Yeah, it's more work for them, but I mean, would you rather still have creators or just push your creators out the door? It, obvious to me is a win-win and you want to keep your creators, right? That's how you make your money. So obviously they, eventually after two hours, I got a, well, I forgot to close that one. Okay, so this this right here was sent to me two hours later. So if I was like, one of these big YouTubers had like 13 million subscribers or 1.3 million subscribers or something like that. And over half of them usually watch every single video I have within the first two hours. I, I would have lost everything 
because it would have gone into a pooled pot and they would have taken it, even when they, they do drop the claim. So that's how broken this system is. Um, obviously, if I would have lost money on this, I would sue Hawk, and then I would sue you too. Yes, I know most people can't afford to do that. Uh, I can't even afford to do it, but I know how to, the system works because I have family that work for attorneys at law. So obviously, since the content is mine, I own it, um, I can pursue it. So, And that's exactly what I told them in the dispute claim uh, against them, and that's why they dropped it so quickly this time. Usually, if I disputed something and I, I show proof that it's a video game's music, um, they'll let it time out after 30 days. They don't do nothing. They don't even copyright strike me, nothing, because they want to try to make as much money off of the views that I am getting. And that's where the other problem is. I'm not even AdSense, but if their, their content creators are AdSense, they will go in, do this on purpose to somebody, just so they can get that person's views counted on their view count, and they can get more money from YouTube. And that's the other broken part of the system. So that's why I think the 30 days needs to be taken down. And they also need to take down the, the system. It's just completely broken. It's one-sided. Obviously, I own the copyrights to that song, as I just showed you before, that it, it comes up with my name on it whenever you open the song. Uh, and yes, that's how it's going to open on the Internet. It's going to open and it's going to say it's copyrighted to me. Because uh, I'm smart enough to do that, apparently. The other song is also copyrighted in my name. So if anybody wants to dispute that one, which has been up for a long time, over four months. This is the tweet that I sent out to YouTube. Still waiting a reply for them because I want to know how I can go about starting to sue this company and any other companies that start flagging my music and claiming it as theirs. Because uh, obviously YouTube has no system set up for people who are not AdSense. I'm not a partner. And I want to know how to pursue this, because if I can't, I will go after YouTube. That's quite frankly how bad and furious I am right now, because that content was mine. I created it. They should not have a right to even make a claim on it unless they can prove that it's theirs. And they have no way of the system being utilized to where they, the person who's making the claim could prove that they own it. That it's just me having to prove that it's not theirs. And that's a backwards setup system. That's why it's defeated. I think that if somebody's going to be able to make a claim on something on YouTube, on their creators, they should have a system set up to where the person who makes the claim has to put in some extra work, where they have to actually show where this stuff that they found on the video is actually claimed for the person they're claiming it for, how it's their copyrighted content, what that copyrighted content is, and it has to be exactly what they have chosen in that segment so like the four seconds it has to sound exactly like a portion a four second portion of that song it can't just be a single one millisecond note in that four seconds that's not how it should work and i think that's what their system is doing it's choosing stuff like that because it could obviously be bots but uh anyway the tweet i sent out that i'm still waiting a reply from youtube from which I, I doubt very much i'll get any reply from youtube because they really don't care about their creators obviously they they keep saying they care about them but i have yet to see that even when i had 2500 subscribers i felt like they didn't care about me so just wondering who i have to talk to about pursuing a lawsuit against a third party company which keeps claiming copyright on my own homemade music with your bot system i suppose because that's the only thing i can come up with is it's like it choose like it choose like 15 seconds 4 to 15 seconds of the song and um copyright it or claim it so i can prove the work is mine as it's copyrighted to me and on my personal hard drive which i just showed you guys i just showed you guys in this video that it's copyrighted to me obviously uh, i'm going to pull up the website now for this third party company this is hawk all right i don't know if if people are having problems with hawk this is who they are right here you create we keep watch so obviously this is a company that a uh, third party company that people can go through well it's it's a second party I guess. it's the middle party i guess because youtube would be the first party they'd be the second and then you have the third party which is hiring this company to go through and find people's content um that mimics there so they can make money off of it so they're actually paying this company for a service to go and look for copyright um infringement so they specialize in youtube facebook instagram rights management um said let us help you 
protect your copyrights. Well, they're obviously not helping me any. They, they're trying to help somebody else make money off of my work, and that makes me very, very unsatisfied with YouTube, and it makes me very, very unsatisfied with them because they've been dogging me since, like, day one of my YouTube days. And I, I just now figured out who they are because I had a friend who actually just I, – I told him to see if he can find out who they are because I keep trying to look them up on YouTube. Um and all I could find was videos on how to put in disputes and then pray that it's done within 30 days or they take it down within 30 days, which they don't. And I think that is another thing that YouTube needs to do is hold these companies responsible when they make a false claim. If they make a false claim and it's up there for two hours, if they're not going to change that system, start holding these people responsible for a false claim. Because if I can prove the work is mine... They should have to pay me for the time they wasted on my channel. So I think they should make a solid system where they have to pay like $250 fines or something like that to YouTube. And YouTube could split it between the creator and them, themselves. Because once they find out that the copyright that they're trying to claim is mine, I should get paid for half the work. And YouTube should get paid for actually going through and looking and making sure that there's no copyright infringement. Because obviously there's not. The, the work was mine, so that's another way they could do this system. So, basically, in a nutshell, I am very unhappy with YouTube's system. I have been for a long time. This is only, like, the 15th time this has happened. Um, but, unfortunately, this time, they, they screwed up because the, the copyright claim that they tried to make was on music that I made. Uh, I was waiting for them to do that because now I could hold this uh, information against them and if it happens again, I will pursue them in a court of law. I will also pursue YouTube because YouTube has done nothing to help me or any other creator that actually makes money off of their stuff. Because obviously, I, this is just a hobby for me because I don't make any money. And if I want this to be a career, um, i got to stick up for myself. There's no point in sticking up for YouTube, obviously, because they really don't care. If they did care, they would change this system. They would listen to their creators and come up with a new way uh, to figure out how to get rid of copyright infringement on their own without these third-party companies being allowed to come in here and try to claim your hard work. Because obviously, it doesn't matter if I, if I do all the work. Like, everything in that video that they tried to claim is mine. The only thing that's not is what's in the background. It's the game. The game and the sound effects of the game. That's the game. But obviously, I don't think Minecraft is going to come after me because they want the free advertisement of their game. And I'm more than happy to give that to them because, quite frankly, the game is fun. Uh, now all the music and everything else in the background, that's me. So, I mean, why can't you come up with a setup that allows me to show that all the stuff that's in the video is mine? So if they try to copyright claim it, um, they get punished, not me. I shouldn't be punished for my stuff being there. That doesn't make any sense. And YouTube needs to learn that their system is flawed. And if it takes somebody taking them to court, I guess so be it. I don't know. What what do you guys think? Because um, quite frankly, I'm still really upset. Uh, if I make another video and they try to copyright claim it, I'm obviously going to pursue it in a court of law. And, and once I'm done with them, I'm going to go after YouTube. Is that fair? Probably not. But I really don't care at this point because YouTube has done nothing. They haven't even reached out to me about this. I want to know what they're doing to prevent companies like Hawk from coming after legitimate creators who bust their butts doing all this hard work for like music background stuff being eliminated so that they don't get copyright claims and yet still these companies are allowed to come in and try to claim your views and everything for the first two hours and I don't think that's right I think there should be some form of punishment there has to be some form of punishment on the other end when they make false claims very false claims at this point for me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you watched it this far, thank you. Um, obviously, I'm going to be doing more some, some more Minecraft videos with some more time lapses, and I'm going to use that music. So I, I can't wait to see if they try to flag it again, because if they do, I, obviously, like I said, I'm going to pursue them in a court of law. There's no point in doing the disputes anymore. No point, because that is not working. I think a court of law is the best course of action from now on. And I hope they see this, because I, I'm dead serious about this. But anyway, 
I will catch you guys in the next episode of Chaosville. Uh, I plan on finishing the farm uh, in a time lapse. I, I got to do some some L troughs and place the dirt in and the water. Whole lots of stuff to come because I got a lot of big builds yet to do. And I can't wait for 1.16. Really, really hoping that 1.16 comes out about the same time as Dungeons. So I'll catch you guys in the next video.